last time on Dog Naropa. Goodbye, despair. As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! Yeah. What, the what the heck was that? And now back to a tropical paradise. If you just do it, it'll turn out okay! And last time we set up our investigation, found out some unbelievable truth, and descended into the depths of hell. Or the trial room, depending. How will this trial go? How much can I do about, how much can I do about cheating? Hopefully a lot. Alright. Let's go. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. The characters in the game were Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, and the high school girl. Let's begin. Using this after clearing the reference, I see two first character the patrol was A. The two ride girl A A. Girl A is probably Neon Sumiki. Oh, definitely sound in the staff role. I it would be girl A. Play the video privacy! Ha! De trash egg shit like privacy right! De trash you like I in the game too. She's right. But that what I see! Girl be short and fouled. She's Yoko. <laughs> uh -oh. Short and foul mouthed? That's like the opposite of me. Sure. Anyway, let's next is girl C. Girl C, but it's not Ibuki. I see. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. On to girl. Girl D, huh? That's the only person you've always had. C! Girl D, my hero. The victim's case. Yeah, that's cr. Let's girl E. F. E. Guy F. I sick. Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? 
<laughs> Here we go. I, wow, I just realized that. Wow. Huh. I was in aim? That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Another person who's last for you? One of the name staff rules. The Nike, Koizu, Sionji, Miyota, Sato, Iyu, and another Kuzuryu. Hold why do you keep saying there were two Ryus? It's like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Game. You probably know what it really means. What is it? Dang, Cruisers twice. It's true. A hunch, but... Like that. I shouldn't mess with. What reason? F it's probably because... You know, it's just a double roll. It's just a bug. Like with this! In the game, Guy F. Kuzuryu mentions that little sister. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? What guy F? It's here. There's now that guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually. That Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what way F's little. The other Kuzuryu play. Probably no. Uh, don't say it. My conversation for. Character, because he believes his little sister is. Has the thrill. That is the beginning. I see! The school girl who was the first victim in the game. The person I can think of. The guy F's tone in the game. Here, that girl E is little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's. That's a winning personality you got there. Winning personality? Are you raising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means it goes little sis. You have a little s something. Uh, it's a fucking game. Mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on events. That's why it's the most. Don't make it shit up, bastard. If she was the type to die easily, I fucking killed her myself on the go. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she off to me and sent me off. It happened just the other day. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memory. Shut the f You be quiet! I accept that that game is based on true events. Huh? Okay, I understand your attitude this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko. Do you suspect her? Mystery that would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone. I, I'd be much if Fuyuhiko the killer. Hey, you're starting to act weird again. And act. Established who all the characters in the game are. Girl, girl B is Hiyoko. C is Uki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Hiko. The first victim in the get dead high school girl is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just the end of fucking game. Oh, but he is Miss Sato. And the same Sato, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think she's. Maybe it's Rita Gundam's line, since they're both really plain names. To not have an ordinary family name, far better Sato or Suzuki. And he also hey, no worries about that. Hurry up the mystery of the game. Huh? What's the mystery of the game? You don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? Why? Is that true? Getting killed is so violent. My, time's wheeling. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. The mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why Girl E was killed! The reason Girl E was killed, I should be able to assume why based on the content of the game. Murder Girl E. Because was she the game. game. Which means Girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent! I don't care what that game said at all! But... But... It, is it... Is that true? Girl E... She, 
She killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case! Then, I'll start explaining. I want to explain how games work. Um, girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office! Which means... Girly was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But... Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped! I you about the, the window breaking. You play the game. Are we even see the window? I don't think I missed the window. Well, I, if I did, I, I should have memory loss there. And sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then forget this. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. This on the details of the game. It's no mistake that Girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. When, then what did Girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? So that first. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music room? She probably used a hidden passageway. Nice. Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best. <laughs> After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window and escaped out. So how did Girl E to the front of the music to go back to the We need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. 
At the entrance hall, the girls... heard the sound of the window shattering. No, that's wrong! First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? How low can you go? The limbo. After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Uh, I see! Now the mystery has been solved! Wait a minute! The mystery hasn't been solved yet! You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet! Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was! Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end. What the heck? You're so annoying! Fine, let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Which means I'll feel disgusting! You're the disgusting one! <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional! The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? The weapon will also appear in the game. I hope we can't like, to make that clear. Yeah, I'll do it. Hmm, what do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I outlined just now? Now then, there's something you need to tell you regarding the white nose noise and the top debate. Mind the white noise are actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with a silencer. Unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if you're difficult to the gentle, you don't want to at all. But you don't do that, will you? It's getting tougher, so I can change the radius reservation. I have a guy, there's a guy who's done something. Apparently, he's Done something. I don't know who it is. I aligned just now. Well, good luck and have fun. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Of death of Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about 
about beating her with gravel instead. I agree with that. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> just as I thought. I'm chosen by the gods. You're not chosen at all. And gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bat. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it has to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy! But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. A and from there, she couldn't go back. You can? That's pretty scary. But Girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? What is the killer? Right now is when person I can think of is that guy. It's Makuma. I was Makuma. I see! It should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But, but Guy F is... What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? That is... I'm terribly sorry, but... They don't remember! That's obvious! Because their school memories were, like, totally stolen! Even if I don't remember, I already know! It's obvious that guy is the killer! No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko! Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy! You sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. No, the game that Mahiru's death are probably probably related. In actuality, there's an important shared point. I can prove it with this! I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. 
someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? You better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. And it's true for you, Hiko may look suspicious. Don't you think that'd be too obvious? What? What are you... I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. Trap? What do you mean? The true killer played that game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up for Yuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Yoko? Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. Huh? <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet clogging bitch? What are you saying, you four eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru? Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! I was squishing Mr. Ants all day! What are you saying, you four-eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru? Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! I was squishing Mr. Ants all day! What are you saying, you four-eyed troll? Accusing me of killing... Why do you doubt? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house. I was squishing Mr. Ants all day. Damn it. Oh boy. What are you saying, you four-eyed troll? Accusing me of... <laughs> Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. We will yeah. never give up. Hyoko! Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! I was squishing Mr. Ants all day! Oh, what are you saying? Accusing me of... <laughs> Why do you doubt? Do you know where Hyoko... She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! I was squishing Mr. Ants all day! Oh. What are you saying? You're accusing me of... <laughs> Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! No, that's wrong! Yes! Oh boy. That, that's the uh, that's minute. for there. You should have been at the beach house, Hyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't! But... These footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints! 
They're probably Mekons based on how ugly they are. Don't decide that based on ugliness. Huh. They're not Yoko's footprints? That's strange. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Plus, the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are we talking about the door facing the road that Makaru's body was in? Are you saying, when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? <laughs> The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened in between those two events. Isn't that right, Yoko? Ah! I remember now! I remember when I went to the beach house! Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that! I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk! I didn't go any other time! Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru... at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not! Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? Yep. I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk! No, that's wrong! Only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? The imprison I can't find you so I email box. Change the place and time. Come to the beach house on second island at 2 30. Turn to the center of our meeting. Keep a secret. So then let's try not to see each other for a while. We try to stop doing this for no reason. That letter! It's the one Mahiro had, right? I see. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What? what? That letter! I'm serious! I don't know! Oh snap! I remember now! I totally saw you! Huh? Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I see. So if she met Mahiru at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away after me, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed here. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner Fuyuhiko. So you should have seen Hyoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway... That letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know! I didn't even write that letter! I, I'm telling the truth! I 
really, really don't know. <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that, too. This is probably that place. where Hiyoka was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Hiyoka, your favorite candy is gummy, correct? What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that before. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Kyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof! My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out! It's a trap! This is obviously someone's trap! Who's someone? Whose trap is it? It must be that one person! You know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the box? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer! You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask! Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice! Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all! Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island! Which means... The legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru! Why, you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia! It's just a difference between cultures! A uh, culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn! It's all in your head! Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer! She has so suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. It's going to be directed by someone. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Uh oh, guys! And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house! At the time the door facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints! Okay. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? 
so that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled. At the time, the door was blocked by them, so you were forced to... And that's how you left your footprints! I shall render my verdict, Kiyoko, is this... <laughs> There's no doubt you went to the beach house! <laughs> oh, nice. And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! No, that's wrong! About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? The... The gummy at the crime scene is yellow, so it obviously looked like it was lemon flavor. Huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! What? That's right! None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Then we can't assume Hiyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! <sighs> Damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge! I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might! Hold on, you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid! I'm not done backing you into a corner yet! Done with Hyoko yet? There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the road. Thanks to her. Damn it. We have the evidence we need. That's wrong! I left those footprints during my morning walk! What's right and what's wrong? We're not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge piece of evidence left! You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence! And we can thank Mahiru for it! What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and... No, that's wrong! Bam! Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes, there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! Oh, I'm sorry! Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. Someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer after all. S seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. But when I saw her, she was... She was clean. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! We haven't decided that yet! 
god. Hey, Fuyuhiko. Why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! Again. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room and after she moved the body, she just walked the fact that Hyoko can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? So what, dumbass? There's a shower room and after she moved the body, she just walked the fact that Hyoko was at can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? Damn it, did I... So what, dumbass? There's a shower room and after she moved the body, she just walked the fact that Hyoko was at can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the after she moved the body. She just walked the fact that Hyoko was at the beach can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? Damn it! If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I could think of. If Mahiru did it, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I could think of. If Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed the fact that he can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside. After she moved the body, she just washed the fact that he can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? Uh. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside. After she moved the body, she just walked the fact that Hyoko was at can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? Uh. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside. After she moved the body. She just washed it off in the sh the fact that Hyoko was at can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? Uh. Damn it! If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door. Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the she just walked the fact that Hyoko was at can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? God. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach. After she moved the body, she just walked the fact that Hyoko was at can be proved. Did you get all that, you bastard? Damn it! If Mahiru didn't block, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru 
and block the door of Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just walked. The fact that Hyoko was at can be proof. Did you get all that, you bastard? Damn it! If Mahiru didn't, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block, then Hiyoko did. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room. After she moved the body, she just walked. The fact that Hyoko was at can be proof. Did you get all that, you bastard? So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the. After she moved the body. She just walked the fact that Hyoko was at can be proof. Did you get all that, you bastard? Oh, so what, God. dumbass? There's a shower room in after she moved the body. She just walked the fact that Hyoko was at can be proof. Did you get all that, you bastard? Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her butt. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her butt. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru did it, then Hiyoko did it. She killed my and blocked the door with her. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Uh, if Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't, then Hiyoko did. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just allow me to cut through those words. Yes. Yeah, right. Now, washing it off time. in the shower is impossible because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. Are you saying I did something that perverted? For clothes, to come in the no, that's impossible. Right, Estelle? Right, Estelle? 
God, he's doing it. I see! Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Kyoko mentioned this before. Myself. Which means, Kyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. I, I didn't smell. And it only smelled a little. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me! If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiro's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Because if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. Doubt me, of all people. You got some nerve. All right, I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? It's okay that I'm not the killer? Yeah, seems like it. See, I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Hyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig bar! I hope you get a hangnail and die! There's Hyoko for... There's... That's our sin. <laughs> I'm sorry for being pig bar! I think it was Gabriel earlier. It was definitely strange. He was definitely. Hyoko being suspicious. Hit the test. The test hey, Hyoko. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap. Yeah, I got that already. So. Can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier? That's not at all. I was surprised. I Damn it! So that was a lie? Cause I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Yeah, this one. It's in person, but I couldn't find you, so I inside your mailbox. This was earlier. It's came to the place. Come to the beach house at the second island. Time to listen at 2 p.m. It seems like Sarah said, I don't know if our meeting. This year, we're not going to see each other. I think it's for no reason. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. I can prove it with this. 
the other one. This letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? Mahiru's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m. But in Ryoko's letter... Whoa! The meeting times are off! It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hiyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter! How many times do I have to tell you? The letter was forged by Killer, but it's like the Killer Forge. Forge. I oh. see! The Killer must have forged both letters. The Killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters... Confirmed! Just as I assume, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches, too. With this part, I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. This part, it seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part, let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The, the killer forged both of those letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. So they completely tricked me. And then, Mahiru's killer! <laughs> How mean! Give me back Mahiru! Really? This is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times, but the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. Uh, it's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. We can just lightly punch him to death later. So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hiyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep! Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine... Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry! When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiro's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic! I was scared. I was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> the killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. This'll never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. 
So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Oh. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. He's got the scrolly eyes. Seriously, which side are you on? I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. You can see hey, what do you think of that, Manakuma? I'm not going to let you have the outcome you want. Hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa. He's sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. Bitter truth, that may be true, but... So we get to stay around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who among us is Mario's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. Yes. Well now. The question. I like the trial to reach this climax. Here we go! Huh? Huh? Do you know what's going on with the colors? I reveal the answer before anyone else is ready. Don't be shocked! Well, don't despair! Can't do that! Can't do that! It's big no no! It's going right now, is it? Don't you think? The president! The president and I are proud to get this invitation! Who's this club president? The answer. Right, the answer is. Yeah, you can't. Everyone, please rise. Right. Your ears. You say "nanu" in German when you're surprised. Um. I don't know what you're talking about. That feels wrong to me. Yes. Well, all right. Whew. That's a. What one? Ah, oh, wow, that the one stream game and that and that the uh sh the debate one can get get the right aim and then the sword one <laughs> it hit the wrong button for the, for the final answer but anyways Whew, let's find out the, the trial continues. Let's find out what's part two because of the sta standards. Hopefully, I'll be able to record this before I go on vacation. Maybe it's the last minute recording. I leave for tomorrow. I leave, to I, I, I leave well, in about 12 hours. So, hopefully, I get all this done, uploaded, edited, uploaded. Hopefully, I'll have stuff to do. Anyways, but until then, never stop learning. Enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye.